and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Air Balloon animation tutorial following the Air Balloon icon tutorial in Inkscape and we're just going to go straight into it. Now the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to import our SVG. Now I actually did a tutorial on how to prepare your SVGs for Blender so you can check that tutorial out and um, I'll leave that in the description also so that you can um, check that tutorial also because I don't want to have to go over those things because they take up the time in the tutorial so let's just go ahead and import so I'm going to go to file and import and I'm going to go to scale of, um, scale of vector graphics and then I'm going to go to this which is the blender prepared file and import I don't know what you'll name yours, but you'll name yours as whatever you plan to name it. I'll, I've got my gradient here and my colors to my right hand side. Okay, so here it is, the SVG, if you just scroll in with the middle mouse button. I'm just going to go ahead and hide this background with H, if it's selected. And I'm going to press B, box select, select all of these. And I'm going to go to Object, Set Origin, and Origin to Center of Mass. I'm going to press S and scale up and let's just scale up a bit S and scale up good let's just see if this is the right size um, yeah I think this looks about right this is G, Y and carry it down a bit yeah I think this looks about the right size Good, so with that now, we're just going to deselect everything. And the first thing is that we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to lift up and drop some of these things down in the z-axis so that we know what's on top and what's not. We don't have that problem, so we're just going to go ahead and do that quickly. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to lift this up in general. We just hide these with H, select these. And let's lift up on the z-axis, G, Z, a little bit higher, G, Z, bring it down. And let's go ahead and put Alt-H to show everything. Right, they look like they're on the same level. Good, so looks like this can scale down a bit as well. Let's put Alt-H, let's just H this again, set all of these, and just scale it down with S. Alright, good. So now let's go ahead and just push some things down and lift some things up. If I press G, we can see this is selected. We're going to push this down. So push G and Z and let's push it down on the Z axis. Good. Then I'm just going to go ahead and select this blue up here. Press G and Z. Let's push it down. And push it down by moving the mouse button up. If you push, pull the mouse button down, you lift the object up. Um, higher on the Z hierarchy so you want to push it up to bring it down it's a bit confusing at first but you'll get the hang of it after you do it a bit more do it long enough so I'm going to press G and Z for this middle thing here I'm going to carry it down and I'm going to carry down these two down a bit more G and Z good so it's so at top that's looking good Let's go ahead and just push this down to this shadow here, G and Z. So we're going to move the cursor up to push it down. Good. For the next part, let's go ahead and sort out these. I'm going to select these two and G and Z and let's push it down. Select these two here, G, Z, push it down and we're going to lift. I'm going to go to Z change our view mode and we're going to select these two here press Z go back to solid view and press G and Z up and just pull down to lift this up so if we go ahead to our solid view now we can see that everything that needs to be in front is in front and everything that needs to be behind is behind Great. And if we go ahead and press F2 just to see what's happening, we see that 
the balloon is indeed looking like a balloon. So we're going to set the colors now. Let's just go ahead and set them. Um, I have my colors to the right hand side just for this. So I'm going to use these colors right here. This make life easier for me. Hit Ctrl and L. It's materials. And I'm going to select this blue right here. Select this blue here. Control and L to link the materials. So I'm just linking the materials to these materials here that have already been set up with the use nodes. All of these are emission use nodes. Good. And when you're importing SVG, that's what you'll have to clean up. Good. Let's change this to a emission. Let's select all, everything with this dark blue. And everything with this dark blue. Good. And you up top. And we're going to link it to the dark blue up here with Ctrl and L. Materials. And we're just linking the materials here. And then here we're just going to go ahead and link. Just going to go ahead and change this to a emission. Oops. Before that, let me just copy the color. Copy the hex. Control and C in our materials tab and let's go to use nodes and select emission in surface. Good. I'm gonna do the same for this also. Let's copy the hex value, go to use nodes, it's set to principal BSDF by default. We're gonna change it to emission. And change the color to what we copied okay I think the last thing is this here and you want to link it to this color right here materials good um, let's just go ahead and change these ones in the middle too and they're gonna select this darker green right here materials and if we press F12 to view event render Good. We can see that all of these areas here need to be shaded and that we need to push down the center in these two. So let's just go ahead and do that. This needs to be the dark blue right here. So I'm going to link material. And this needs to be the dark carrier blue. I'm going to link material. Next, let's go ahead and select these here. And this white, I'm just going to press G and Z and push them down. <coughs> press F12 once more. And we see if everything's okay. Things are looking a bit better. Still a bit more work to do. Let's go ahead and push these down further. G, Z. Good. And push this down. G, Z. And let's see if everything is in order with F12. Yes, everything is in order now. So we're just going to go ahead now and move to the parenting. Now, I'm not going to go into parenting into this tutorial. I'm just going to speed that up. I have a parenting chart that I'm going to include in the description. And you're going to see it also in the um, video. I'll just put it up briefly so that you can see it. So that we can move straight on into the animation. Okay, so we just gone ahead and added all of the parents. Let's move right now into making the last parent, which is this empty right here, which is the main parent. I've made this the source of the parenting from the top. Good, so we're just going to just parent, and I've made this for the bottom. So we're just gonna parent this to this empty. Keep transform with control and P. And I'm going to select this, hold shift, select the empty, press control and P and keep transform. So now this empty controls all of the balloon apart from these three stands right here. I'm just going to go ahead and select them with shift and hit control and P and keep transformation so that the empty controls the whole entire balloon. Good. That's for the next part now. Just want to go ahead and set the anchor points because you're going to want to rotate these so you want to set the anchor points for each one of these and the anchor point for this is going to be necessary so let's just go ahead and set them 
I'm going to select this um, outline right here, zooming my middle mouse button, and I'm going to press tab. Then we're going to go to the vertice at the top. Good. I'm going to hit shift and S. And then we're going to go to cursor to selected. I want the 3D cursor to go to selected. Press tab to come out of edit mode. Then go to object, set origin, and go to origin to 3D cursor. Good, so wherever this rotates now, it's going to rotate at this point here, which is what we want. And we want to do the same for these two right here too. So we're just going to go ahead and press tab, select this right here, shift and S to go to the snap menu selection, cursor to selected, then go to tab to come out of edit mode, go to object, go to set origin, and origin to center of mass, not origin to 3D cursor. I'm going to do the same for this now. Um, shift S, cursor to selected, tab, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And lastly, we're going to do it for this. Select this right here, shift S, cursor to selected, tab, object, set origin, and lastly, origin to 3D cursor. So now this rotates like this. This rotates here, rotates here, centering the pivot point our rotations when we start them. Good. So for the next thing we can actually move now into the animation. I'm just going to go ahead and set some keyframes. The first thing we're going to do is go to transform with this selected our uh, empty. We're going to left click on our Y insert keyframe, single keyframe on our Y at frame 30 which is about one here. We're going to go ahead and just lift it up a bit, just a little bit, and insert keyframe. And then we're just going to go to this, key, this keyframe right here. We're going to select it, hit Shift and D to duplicate it, and drag it over to 60. So it goes up and down. Good. That's what we want. For the next step, we want this, to, this balloon to sort of squish up and down too. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and select it, the parent point and we want the parent point we're going to go to our scale and we're going to scale it on the Y okay we have to set the pivot point for this as well let me just go ahead and select it um, let's go ahead and select it for a little bit press tab I'm just going to go ahead and select this point right here shift S I'm going to say cursor to selected. Then I'm going to select this right here, which is our parent. Go to object, set origin, and origin to 3D cursor. So now, if everything's right, yeah, we should get the scale that we're looking for. So we're just going to go ahead and scale on the Y. Let's scale it down a bit. Give it a bit of squash. Insert keyframe. Then we're going to go to frame 30. I'm going to lift the squash up a bit. Insert keyframe and then we're just going to duplicate the first one and carry it over like we did for the lift. And we can see that it's stretching as it is lifting up. Great. So let's move on to the next point here. I'm going to go ahead and make this lift up a little bit on its own. So we're going to just come here and we're going to insert a keyframe for the Y. Come to frame 30 once more, lift the Y up ever so much, just a little bit. So keyframe and come down here and we're going to just duplicate this keyframe at zero and place it here. So it lifts up and comes down. Okay, everything's looking good. So we're just going to go ahead and add some of the rotation now. Let's rotate this thing here, the base of the balloon. And we're just going to go to rotation. We're going to rotate on the z-axis, insert single keyframe at frame 30. We want it to rotate to the left or to the, to the right on the screen, but to the left in comparison to ourselves. I'm going to hit Shift and D, 
come over to 16 and have it come over good now for this one now we actually want this at 15 and we want this keyframe this last keyframe at 30 good so at this now we're just going to duplicate the 15 put it at 45 and duplicate the 0 and put it at 60 you know I'm going to look at this 45 keyframe right here at this point and where it says negative 5.42 right here we're going to just eradicate the negative and it's going to rotate on the opposite side replace keyframe and we have a nice rotating basket here awesome so the next thing is that we need to rotate these and that's actually the last thing that we're going to do so let's go ahead and go to rotation on the Z insert keyframe go to frame 30 and we're just going to have it rotate out about here so keyframe duplicate the zero keyframe carry it across good and we're going to do the same for this now but we're going to have it rotate to the opposite direction insert keyframe Go to frame 30 and then rotate on this side too. Let's give it a bit more rotation. Good. Duplicate this keyframe at frame 0, carry it across, and yeah, that is our balloon lift animation tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I'll be happy to answer them once I am capable. You know, if you have any suggestions on the flow of the tutorial, be sure to add it. Um, your inquiries and your pointers and anything in your comments and criticisms are, are constructive criticisms are welcome. You know, and they help everybody. So until I see you again with another tutorial, get up and climb.